Hello viewers, today we are going to work on this BMW E87 Probably with the most hated diesel engine on BMW which is N47 And probably for most of you that are going to know This engine has issue with the crankshaft Which is warning out the timing chains much more often than usual Which means you are going to need to change the timing chains on every 100,000 km if you, want, if you want to do it on 200,000 km you are going to need to change the crankshaft uh, with the one which BMW has revised but uh, for sure nobody is doing, it that, doing that because it's pretty expensive so today as we saw in the beginning in the video we're going to service the timing chains uh, there is some sound in the engine I'm not 100% sure is it from the timing chains uh, I'm going to show you why but does matter we're going to do it because the owner don't know what, when was the last time that this has been done to this engine uh, and once again, this engine is really prone to timing chain breakage So that's why we're going to do it But first of all, let me show you some things So, this car will have all the bonuses Which no owner are going to want uh, But we have uh, good old leaking injectors We have a leaking valve cover Yeah, of course, on the back on the passenger back side which is a really really common issue with this, this I, I cannot show it right now on camera but probably many of you are going to know that these valve covers are leaking on the rear left side if you are standing in front of the car of course on the rear passenger side most of the time if you change the, the gasket still the valve cover is going to leak because uh, these valve covers are bending and no matter what you're going to do it's still going to leak so the solution here is to change the valve cover with a brand new one uh, I highly doubt the owner going to want to do this uh, uh, because with all the repairs which we go, we're going to do to this car uh, we're going to get close to the value of the car so yeah probably not going to do it I'm going to talk to him the other really common thing is let me show you I'm not sure you guys seeing the rippage in the rubber of the front crankshaft, crankshaft damper pulley uh, So yeah, it's completely gone We're going to need to change this for sure with the belts and all the accessories uh, Yeah, he told me that the car has some issues starting on a, on a cold weather So we're going to change the relay and the glow box And once again, yeah, the timing changes So he's going to, he, he's going to have all the bonuses uh, and yeah, this repair is going to be expensive I know once again 100 people is going to ask me how much is this job going to cost I cannot tell you guys it depends really from car to car to engine from engine to engine it depends on 100 things it can if, if you want to change while doing this job the oils and the filters the the pulleys and the belts it really depends I cannot tell for sure how much it's going to, to cost every additional job aside from the timing change job is going to increase the labor in this case I'm going to change the crankshaft pulley the gold box this is going to increase the price for sure I have detailed enough videos about changing the timing chains on this engine I'm going to put it in the description below so yeah now I'm going to disassemble a little bit the engine I'm going to remove the fuel injectors the intake manifold the valve cover and I'm going to show you how much is the stretch on the camshaft chain uh, yeah I'm going to of course need to remove the gearbox this car especially has this car especially has a manual gearbox which is a little bit easier to, to work with because it's a little bit wider than the automatic gearbox which is much more heavier okay so I have removed some plastics and uh, yeah the fan uh, so to take a closer look what is happening around the accessories of the car and yeah the things doesn't look very promising <laughs> as on every neglected BMW so let me try to show you pretty much all the pulleys are terrible hopefully this is going to be catched on camera but this is first of it there are in total three pulleys there is one more here So three of them are tot totally gone Yeah, the, the water pump actually is the original one It has some marking on, for BMW on it uh, Where it was Yeah, this is the part number Yeah, he here it is, BMW 
and yeah, it doesn't have any play or anything like that, but uh, of course I'm going to show you after a second underneath that it is leaking uh, also the thermostat housing. And the other thing which is going to be a little bit surprising for the owner. Let me show you. The radiator is leaking also, as we can see here. It has some leakage on it on several places. So yeah, I'm going to surprise him with that with that. Uh, and other than that, of course, yeah, as I told you, the valve cover is leaking everywhere through the whole body. So yeah, this is uh, pretty obviously that if this leak should be stopped, we're going to need to change the whole valve cover. I highly doubt the owner is going to want to do this. I'm just going to do my offering and he's going to decide what he wants to do. The crankshaft pulley looks promising. Now I'm going to lift up the car and show you how it looks underneath. Okay, so underneath, as expected, it has a lot of oil leaks underneath. Yes, some job to the suspension can be done. At least the owner has installed some good shocks, some pro proper shocks, as we can see, they are zacks. Let me show you the water pump gasket. It's going to be a little bit hard. So this is underneath the underneath the water pump, as we can see, the gasket is leaking. And yeah, I always advise when we need to change this gasket to change the oil pump. I believe we have small amount of leakage on the front crankshaft seal. It's hard to show you right now, but uh, probably we're going to change it. Uh, and see, I believe this fitting for the turbo oil fit supply is leaking a little bit from the ceiling rings. Yeah, it's kind of hard to show you. As you can see there. Uh, and what else? Yeah, of course, uh, we have some leaking around the starter. And as we saw guys in the first footage in the beginning we had some smoke coming out of the exhaust so let me show you where i think it it comes from so just going to show you the bracket behind the turbo housing as we can see it smoked yeah hopefully you guys going to see in in the edge the camera doesn't want to focus but as we can see there it is smoking from there so probably this is where this this smokes are smoke is coming from. I'm really surprised that the owner doesn't feel this in the interior. Okay, so I have disassembled the valve cover, the intake manifold, and the injectors and stuff. So let me show you what is happening underneath. So it's a little bit dark today, but uh, I guess you're going to be able to see it for those of you that are familiar. With the timing chains of these cars, it's pretty obvious that the timing chain and the gear, especially for the camshaft, have been changed. And if you, if for those of you that have watched my previous videos about N57, the stretch of the timing chains, uh, how how bad it was, as we can see here, we don't have any play in the chain. The chain is tight. So for sure, this is a brand new chain with a brand new gear. So we are not going to need to change these chains right now uh, but i have found something else which is kind of concerning first of all the bracket here which is for lifting up the engine we have two brackets one on the front and one on the back uh, it was curved so for sure this engine have been removed for some reason uh, and after checking a little bit closer I have seen some major issue, <laughs> let's call it, so let me try to show you what, so let me show you, I hope you guys seen the crack, so yeah, it's cracked here and here and here. Uh, so yeah, this engine have seen some, have, have been in some issue and if I need to take a guess, I guess the timing chain have, have broken up and uh, when this happens, the pistons are hitting the valves and uh, when this happens, 
the camshaft is pushed up just a smidge just a smidge to break down this bridge which is holding the camshafts this is just my guess the other option which can happen is to start on doing these bolts to remove this let's call it a camshaft plate and when you're doing this you're going to undo them one by one without removing them evenly through the whole plate when you start undoing them with the impact let's say it's pretty easy to break down this plate you need to remove this plate by undoing the bolts evenly through the, through the whole plate little by little if you start removing them with the impact randomly it's really often seen that this plate is going to break down so this is the both cases either it it was improper removal of the plate or it is because of snap time, timing chain and the piston have hit the valve and uh, that's why the camshaft have broken down this plate I'm kind of sure that this this camshaft probably is going to be curved and bended uh, but uh, yeah it's kind of hard to, to to check it right now uh, but yeah I have talked to the owner and uh, he refused for further repair he decided that he's going to continue driving it like that uh, with this issue here probably it's going to run if I need to take a guess sooner or later it's going to make an issue uh, but for now probably it's going to run for a few thousand kilometers and if I need to take a guess Probably the sound which we have heard in the beginning of the video is going to be caused because of this crankshaft pulley. Of course, we're going to change this and we're going to see how the engine is going to sound with the new pulley. Is the sound going to disappear? I doubt it's going to be from here. Uh, probably it's going to make a little bit of noise, but I doubt it's going to be from here. And yeah, I'm not going to start welding up this plate and uh, hope that it's going to hold. I'm not going to take risks like this. Uh, I'm not doing repairs like this. I'm not going to change the chains because I don't see the point of doing it. I, that's why I, I every time start removing the valve cover before continue with the removal of the gearbox and so on. So to check uh, the rest of the timing chain because I want to see how it looks on the top. Yeah, by looking this we cannot tell if the water chain have been changed from the crankshaft to the high pressure fuel pump of course we cannot uh, we cannot see this so we're going to leave it like that i'm just going to close up the the valve car once again we are for sure this valve car needs to be replaced but uh, the owner refused to do it uh, we're just going to ch change the the gasket hopefully this is going to reduce a lot the leakage from the valve cover yeah we're going to leave it like that we're going to see how it sounds with the new crankshaft pulley and hopefully at least the sound is going to disappear he told me that sooner or later he's going to try to fix this but now it's not the right moment so we're going to see sooner or later when he decides to do it probably going to film it and for the people which are asking me all the time what crankshaft pulleys we are using we are using Forteco 99% of the time I rarely install original crankshaft pulleys from BMW most of the people cannot afford it but still these Forteco ones are used originally in BMW so I don't see the point to go with OEM ones uh, when this is going to hold for a really long period of time it was, if it was my car I was going to go with this so now we're going to install it. Let me quickly show you the difference. And yeah, it's cool that it came with the bolts. Uh, if not, you're going to need to buy it separately. So as we can see, they are pretty identical without any difference. So now I'm going to torque spec these bolts. Uh, if I remember right, it was somewhere around 40 Nm plus 120 degrees. I'm going to check it. I'm going to install it and hopefully the, at least the sound is going to disappear until the owner decides what he's going to do with this issue
As you saw guys, after assembling everything, uh, it looks like that uh, the sound is gone. But still, as we saw, we have an issue inside the engine. Uh, but uh, you cannot catch it without removing the valve cover. Uh, so we're going to leave it like that until the owner decided to that he wants to go through and uh, yeah, fix this issue. So we're going to leave it like that. Hopefully it was interesting for you guys. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.